Hello everyone, welcome to new tutorial of SparkCare. Today in this video we are going to learn how to use global transformation with image target as in this demo video. What we are trying to do here is uh, we are using global transformation uh, which tracks the transformation of camera or movement of camera. Uh, so we have a image target and we place a plane here and when user move their camera forward then our animation sequence runs you too can use this transform patch with different other 3d models or 2d animation let's start by creating new file new go to add object and add target tracker go to starting let's arrange our assets for this project let's add image target go to texture and select choose file you can use any image target as your requirement Now right click here and add plane. Position it. Position plane. And scale it. Rename it as and frame and add another plane and rename it as photo frame and add material, create new material. Change center type to flat for both. Now we'll be adding frame. You can simply find it in Google or create one. And let's create new layer for here. Now for this photo frame, we are going to use animation sequence. Go to add asset and click an animation sequence. And rename it as photo or any other as you like. For creating image sequence, you can simply download GIF file from Google or create it using Photoshop and convert GIF to PNG using different converter available online. I'll put link in description for the tool I use during PNG conversion or sound conversion. Want to do same as we are doing in this video you can find link to this file as well add image sequence make sure your image sequence are compressed through tools such as cgm or any other tools Next, go to frame and in texture, select photo animation sequence.
for editing audio simply download it from online or any place you can find it in mp3 format and you need to convert it in m4a format so you can use any online tool and simply select file change this sampling rate to 44.1 clause and change this audio channels to mono and if you want you can trim your audio and select this to AAC and you can convert and use it in Spark Gary Studio Now we'll be working with pass editor. Go to view and so add pass editor. Go to photo frame and go to interaction and create producer patch. Now add global transformation. Now this gives a uh, different value of position, scale, and rotation. We only need position. So, unpack this value. Now you can see different XYZ values of this camera by pressing W AST button. You can see there is change in value in that Z, Z axis. So we can create a value for us here. Four five as in this value. Now we'll add frame transaction. Add loop animation. And go to animation sequence and add frame. And add frame transition. You need to normal your frames as in this image sequence. We have 30 frames, so we'll be adding from 0 to 29. Connect it. Now let's test it. You too can change the trim per second here as a requirement. And duration here. Then connect another patch from this to reset. Actually, we want it to reset when it is turned up. So connect this here. Now it is working well. Now let's add audio to our 
image target go to image target and add speaker and go to microphone and disable mic drag audio file and create a patch then add single clip controller now we'll be adding from here then add audio player connect this audio clip to audio player and we'll add speaker pass Restraint. Now connect this turn on to loop and while it will be off, we'll stop this audio. So connect it to stop. Oh, let's test it again. Mm, go to camera. Press, press. Now we have completed our tutorial. If you like my content, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Or if you have any suggestion related to face filter, you can leave it in comment section. Thank you.